Hey everyone, Amber here with Amber Auxis, and today I am going to demonstrate how to polish your amber when it starts to look tired. So I just did this one. Laurel, do you think you can kind of show? It's hard to kind of catch it, but it was like these. You see how it's just kind of like a matte? It's not very shiny, just kind of tired looking. Well, I'm going to show you um, how to bring some pizzazz back to your amber. And it's very easy. So all you need is some toothpaste, a soft cloth, like a microfiber cloth, a pad to work on, like a, a towel, because you may spill a little water, a toothbrush for cleaning, preferably not one from your mouth, and some water. So all you need to do, get your cloth, just dab a little bit of water, you show Laurel, just a little bit of water on it. You don't need much. And then you're gonna get your toothpaste. And you're gonna get your amber and just rub 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 a dub all over the toothpaste acts as a polishing agent and it will not hurt the amber so not to worry feel free to get more toothpaste if you feel like it's absorbing in the cloth just rub 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 a dub Pardon my ugly nails. I cannot grow nails. They just peel right off. Very soft nails. All right, so let's pause it for a minute. Okay, so I've been rubbing this for about two minutes now. So I'm gonna, going to clean all this off here over in the water. Rinse it off, get all that toothpaste out of the all right now I'm gonna dry it and the longer the longer you rub, the shinier it'll get. Whoop, shot right out of there. So last step is you're gonna want a little olive oil or coconut oil. Here I have olive. Just gonna get a little tiny bit. That's all you need. Just a teeny tiny bit. And this just helps keep the amber moisturized because it kind of just gets dried out. Especially if you expose it to soap, you don't take it off, you're washing your hands and getting soap in it or Maybe you're in a job where you use a lot of chemicals. So this kind of just makes a protective seal. Just wipe it off. And then I like to, I don't have it on me, but I like to get like um, a real soft paper towel or toilet paper and just absorb that last little bit of oil. But I'm just going to use the corner of my cloth because it'll work just the same. There we go. Let's see. Can you see the shine? Whoops. You see how much shinier it is? You see how it catches the light now? Now look compared to this one. You see that just tired surface? Sometimes it's hard to catch it. but it really brings life back to your amber. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching and please uh, stay tuned to my channel. I don't upload stuff very often, but when I do, I think it's very helpful. And if you need any type of um, Baltic Amber products, whether finished jewelry or beads, this is me. Here's my website. 
and I am located now in South Texas and I have around 10,000 different jewelry items plus hmm, probably about 25 pounds of beads and supplies for you to pick from. So just please uh, reach out to me and I will take care of you. So y'all have a great day. See you next time.